friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we will create table structure using migrations concept and that will be for our project table. If I back to slide. So as we had discussed that for the second phase of API development, we will relate all about our user table and project table. So these are the tables automatically gets created inside our database when we had done the installation of code data for silt authentication package. But this time also we are interested into a second table that is our projects table. So we need to create a migration file and by the help of that migration we will create our projects table and inside this table we will have the columns as id, user id, name and budget back to terminal and if i type php spark press enter it will provide all about our command list go inside generators now inside generators if we see a command that is make migration look at its single line description it generates a new migration file so we will use this command to create our project's migration so php spark make migration and let's say create underscore projects underscore table. If I press enter, now we can see that it has created a migration file inside this migrations folder. Back to editor. And if we go inside app, database migrations, now here we can see that here we have our projects migration. It has provided two methods called up method and down method and also we have now a strong concept about migrations from basic concept of code writer for videos as well as first phase of API development processes. So by using this up method we can create our table skeleton inside our database. So as we had discussed that for project table we need ID, user ID, name and budget column. Back to editor, go inside of method, we will use forge instance. So this forge, I will call the first method that will be add field. Next method will have called this forge, add primary key. Third method that is this forge and we will call create table method. Inside this we need to pass our table name. So let's say that we are interested to create a project table. Now inside this add field, we need to pass the column names what we need inside this table. So we need ID, user ID, name that will be project name and budget means project budget. So ID, let's set it attributes. So first type equals to integer. So it will be int type. Next we'll have constant, it means field length. Let's equals to five characters. Unsigned equals to true. And also this column should be auto incremented column. So auto increment equals to true. So after setting up all about the attributes of this ID column, now let's go for this user ID. I will copy the same attributes of this ID field because user ID also be your integer type. So int type constant equals to 5 and let's remove these two attributes from this list. So successfully now we have done for this ID column and user ID. I will copy the attributes and let's go for this name field. This name field is going to contain the string values so type equals to var char constant let's say 120 characters and null equals to false it means this field is mandatory we need to pass a project name now this time for the buzzard so here type equals to let's say int value it is okay because this column is also going to contain some numeric value constant equals to 5. So successfully, now we have all the columns what we need inside project table called ID, user ID, name and budget. 
Now next go inside this add primary key. We need to pass here all about the column which we need to make the primary key. So we want to make user ID means not user ID. We want to make primary key as ID column. So here we need to pass ID. I will copy this line of code or go inside down method and as we know that down method is useful when we do all about the execution of rollback command. So here let's set this forge we'll use drop table method and inside this we need to pass the table name so we have the table name as protects. So successfully now we have all the code done inside for this up method and down method. Back to terminal. So if I type first php spark and let's say migrate status to check all about the migrations what we have inside application and their status. Press enter. So as we can see that inside application we have created only this single migration but behind the scene from last video we had seen that code data for sealed package created all these three migrations and also we had migrated and created the table structures inside database. So from this list this is the single migration yet not migrated. So let's migrate it first. So PHP Spark, as simple as that we need to type migrate command, press enter and as you can see projects migration now migrated. Again if I type the same command to check our migration status, not this command PHP Spark migrate status, now this time as we can see that our app migration what we had created now migrated. Back to database, click on structure. And inside this database now we have one more table called projects and if we click on that table go to structure now we can see that now we have ID column user ID name and budget so all about the API development processes for all these APIs will start from next video now step by step we have all about our initial setup we had done a code data for setup also we had done all about code data for sealed installation packages for this application and finally now this time we have our project stable. So from next video we'll start our API development setup. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.